What's up everybody and welcome to the channel and today we're gonna have a breakfast which is gonna be quite different from the breakfasts you guys probably have. So on today's meal we have pickles and we also have sprote which is the fish in oil which we bought yesterday. You saw it in yesterday's vlog and it's from Kaliningrad and on that we're gonna be putting the sprotties and the pickles on this black bread right here. So let's make those sandwiches right now. And like a real man, I gotta open this up. Ugh. So guys, this is how the fish in the oil looks like it's absolutely amazing it has like a smoky flavor anyways you guys are gonna see how it looks like on a sandwich and i'm gonna give you my honest review on this awesome looking sandwich that evelina is gonna prepare for us Every Russian occasion, like if you go to a theater or a wedding or a funeral in Russia, whatever it may be, they make those type of sandwiches. It's like little appetizer snacks before like a meal or something, or some of them would eat it before drinking a glass of champagne, which is really odd. But in general, I really do like those type of sandwiches. So guys, time to do a taste test of this beautiful sandwich which might look not the best but the taste is mm, bellissimo this is so good i've missed this taste smoky fish it doesn't have that fishy taste it's just like smoky i just i don't know it's amazing if you could buy sproti anywhere you probably could in any country if you find like a russian or maybe like a swedish shop i'd say the swedes and people in finland estonia eat this as well this is like a thing that they eat in the baltics so after having that breakfast we're gonna drive down to a shopping mall in manavgat which is like an hour drive from us but apparently it's quite a big mall so we thought you know what it's a saturday evening we might check out what they have there and how big it is and maybe it's like one of the coolest shopping malls we've ever seen in our life anyways we're gonna check it out and see how it is so stick on our journey with this beautiful sunshine blazing into my face right now We are entering the parking lot of the place we went to and the funny thing is they check every single car's boot but for some reason when you have Russian license plates they don't tend to check the boot of your car so that's weird I don't know why I always try to show it to them but they're like no no it's fine it's fine but if you got Turkish license plates they check I don't know maybe it's because they love tourists I don't know what's up with the parking. I mean, look, this guy parked the whole car in two spaces. I mean, I parked the same way because everybody is get basically probably scratching each other's car because this car right here is even smaller. Like my one, if, if another car parks, it's not gonna be able to open its door. So I parked like this. I know it's not the right way to park, but this car, look at it. It just parked in the middle. What the heck? Now I need to take a photo of where I'm standing so I won't forget where my car is. Okay, 
let's go explore the shopping mall and hopefully get some food first because I'm absolutely starving. So we've arrived and we're going up after going through the security like in any other shopping mall in Turkey. But yeah, this actually looks cool. This looks nice. This is in a town called Manavgat. This is it. Look at it. Looks awesome. It doesn't have the Christmas vibes, but we do need to find a toilet. And I think it's that way. I love that McDonald's actually makes those little kiosks where you could get yourself a coffee and an ice cream or a milkshake. It's actually quite cool. You don't need to wait in queues. Just get yourself a drink. That's all you need. Anyways, we need to find the bathroom. Evelina. Evelina. Evelina just has no clue what's going on. Every time I gotta show the way to go. Ideal kilograms for me is 81 kilograms and I'm 103. Definitely need to lose some weight. So we're going up to the food court right now and hopefully they have Vietnamese food because when we were in Antalya in a shopping mall, they actually had Vietnamese food right there. So anyways, hopefully it's gonna be there. But you got your Migros and H&M, all the good stuff. Very nice. Anyways, I actually saw Popeyes. I want to try it out, but Evelina doesn't want any fast food. So now we're gonna be trying to find somewhere to eat something else. But whoever tried Popeyes, tell me at least in the comments how it is. Anyways, I think there's other places you could eat except the food court here. Well, I'm waiting for Evelina on a bench here and um, yeah, I talked to her and it looks like we're gonna be trying out Popeye's. So, yeah, I'm just wondering how it tastes like. Is it better than KFC or is it not as good as KFC? We will see that in this video today. Sleeping out at 7.14 right now. And the only thing I had today was those sandwiches that I showed you. And I'm waiting at a place where women check what clothes they like and stuff like that. And I'm absolutely starving. Still hadn't had Popeyes. Dying, dying. I'm rushing Evelina because literally my stomach is like, is starting to eat itself, honestly. So we're gonna go and try out a Popeyes right now. Once Evelina actually comes out. This is so annoying. I hate shopping. So it's first time actually trying Popeyes. I got myself a burger and some wings, but the burger is still being cooked. Anyways, this is the wings. Let's have a try of the wings. Wow, this is actually really good. I think this actually is a bit better than KFC. I'm not sure I have to dig in and do a final review after I finish the whole meal. So guys, what impresses me is the potato. Look how it's cooked. This is cool. Anyways, to be honest, the wings are like the exact same as in KFC. But now it's the turn of the burger that I got. Let's see how it is. Damn, look at it. Looks tasty. Let's see how it is. Well, this is something different. Something different. Evelina says that her burger is sweet. Not a big fan of the burger. It's really odd. I don't know. It's the bread is sweet and is this cheese or what is this tangling about? No, that's chicken. Just wondering, you know. Really, really weird burger. I don't know. It's different. That's that's for sure. I don't know. Not a big fan of it. More a fan of the wings though. Oh, so my overall thoughts of Popeyes anyways in this place is I didn't enjoy the burger because it's a big piece of chicken You take a bite and all like kind of I just hate that type You know when it falls out it's like tomatoes when you have burgers and tomato and you take a bite 
the tomato pulls out and it's so annoying same with the burgers in Popeyes anyways but the wings were amazing and the fries are geniusly good anyways I'm now a happy man because um, I've eaten so now I could do whatever and walk around shops until I get hungry again you know Turkish shopping malls are different because most of the brands are like unknown well there's a lot that everybody knows like US polo and stuff like that but then there's some random Turkish ones and you're like is it good or is it not that's the biggest question that Evelina is having while walking around so she's just browsing trying to see if uh, she can get the right one you never know but anyways look at those crappy watches right here I'm trapped someone come to the rescue time to get ourselves the milkshake at the place where we needed to get at this McDonald's place Oh, I got some bad words about this McDonald's. That McDonald's did not accept cards and I do not have any cash whatsoever. So now we're gonna live without a milkshake. <sighs> that sucks. But the good news is we're finally out of the shopping mall and we're gonna drive back to an apart hotel cafe where Evelina is gonna help organize like the new year party there and yeah hopefully we're not gonna be there too late hopefully there's still gonna be people there so uh, yeah let's check it out let's see what the day takes us to so we've arrived oh wow my phone is in the way we've arrived to the apart hotel where we're thinking of doing a uh, new year oh <laughs> so the owner or anybody like nobody was here so we came here and we have no idea what we're gonna be doing now anyways one of my friends from my town from russia he was actually when there was mobilization he went over to greece and then his eu visa expired his Schengen so he flew over to Turkey and guess what city he came to Alanya so we're probably gonna meet up with him tomorrow which is awesome imagine this a guy that I knew for ages is gonna be here tomorrow crazy stuff so we came back home and this is basically it for today guys the daily vlog has been going on for like three three days four days not sure but we're gonna be keeping the daily grind going strong for you guys to enjoy and if you did enjoy it please press the like button subscribe and comment in the comment section below see you later guys